Classic Restos, proudly brought to you by Shannon's, where you can be part of the Shannon's Club, Penrite Oil, Hare and Forbes Machinery House, Pace Farm and Duncan Foster Engineering. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another episode of Classic Restos. Now on this week's show, I'm going to bring you the story of a private guy here in Michigan, United States of America. This return trip to the US is brought to us thanks to Shannon's. Please support the people that bring us Classic Restos each and every week. Have a look at this. It's thanks to Shannon's. Ask about multi-policy discounts and sign up for the Shannon's Club. Call 134646 for a quote and see more at shannons.com.au. For oils, coolants, additives and technical assistance, oil right, use Penrite. And Heron Forbes has the range. Buy online at machineryhouse.com.au. Today's show is about a guy, his sheds and his cars. And when it comes to classic Americana and a representing individual, things don't get more classical than this. Meet Wes Myrick. I met Wes about three years ago and it was an absolute delight. Wes was born 1924 and at 92 years of young, Wes is nothing short of remarkable and in height either. Wes would be one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet. Wes has 60 grandchildren and he knows this because he gives each one a hundred dollars a year for birthdays and Christmas and he spends six grand every time he does it. Wes was 14 when he bought his first car. It was a 1931 Chevy Coupe. The year of purchase was 1938 and Wes paid $15 for it. Wes grew up without a father and at a young age Wes took care of his own hobbies and hence the beginning of collecting any automobile memorabilia that he could find. Wes likes all brands of cars with no particular favourites. If they were built in the 1930s, well, he loves those. Wes once had around 100 cars at one time, nowadays reduced to a mere 35. Wes is known and loved by many around here. He ran a service station in town for over 40 years and he retired in 1988. The secrets to his longevity are eating meat, no vegetables, enjoying hamburgers and drinking whiskey. Wes is that lovable, take it easy, country kind of guy and I have the utmost respect and pleasure in devoting an episode of Classic Restos especially to him. Here he is, the man himself. How you doing Wes? I'm doing good Fletch. You haven't changed in the last few years, you haven't changed one bit. Is that good? Of course it is. <laughs> okay. Yeah. He's, he's as sharp as a tack. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Wes, thanks for having us here today. Well, it's a pleasure. I like your smiling face and the way you comb your hair. It makes a difference. <laughs> he's, he's full of compliments, you know, and I tend to lap it up because you don't get those sort of compliments everywhere you do the TV show, Wes. That's, well, I believe that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, now, look, we're going to start today's show with this very original car. You've got this 1970 Lincoln, a Mark III. It's an unrestored car. It's as is from 1970. Uh, how long have you had it? What's the story? Well, I went to, uh, I went to a swap meet in the middle of the winter down in Kalamazoo, and I already had two of these. I had a white one and a blue one. But I didn't like the white and I didn't like the blue. And then this black one, it was about 20 below zero. And uh, I saw it on a trailer and there was a bunch of people standing around it. And I grabbed the guy that owned it. And I said, uh, what do you want for that car? And he told me. And I said, well, I'll give you, I'll make an offer. I don't remember what it was now. So within, within uh, uh, two minutes, I'd say, I bought the car. I gave him a deposit, left. 
And uh, so that's how long it took me to buy it. Yeah. And then the next day was the same kind of weather, 20 below zero or something. You, you, you like those days, don't you, Wes? Yeah, I like them all right. <laughs> but <laughs> anyway, it was funny because uh, I called him up and he said he'd meet me at a at a shopping center on the north side of Kalamazoo. And uh, so we got there and... I got out of the car and I handed him the money and he handed me the title and he started to take the license plate off the back. I said, well, I needed to get home. And uh, so he took the license plate off and that whole episode probably took less than 10 minutes, about five minutes probably. So that's the amount of time it took me to buy this car. Wow. I mean, when, a true story. When you get them like this, this is, a, this is the way to get them because nothing's been tarted up. I mean, sure, there's some splits in the paint now. There's some craze. The interior needs a, a clean up. Uh, but this, this is what it's all about, finding a car like this, totally original. The interior of this car is amazing. There's a bit of mould here and there, and that's what happens over here with the high humidity over here in the, in, in the east. Uh, that comes off okay. But there's no splits anywhere or, or cracks in the, in the leather. The, the back is, is perfection. You look around the back seat. It really does have a fantastic interior, this car. Yeah, and that surprises me because uh, you usually don't see that. If it was in the north here, sometimes in the winter time, we just set on the leather and it, it'll crack or yeah. something like that. So yeah. yeah, and and not only that, a lot of times in the south too, the interiors are all faded and burned up from yeah. the sun. Yeah. yeah, so I don't understand it. Yeah. It's obviously had a life prior to yourself. I mean, you've had it in a garage too, um, but I think that the Lincoln interiors. I mean. They're all right across the big three. They're, they're all beautiful at this sort of level of car. Uh, but I believe that the, the Lincoln interiors, are, they're really something, aren't they? This is a quality automobile. I mean, it, 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 have you ever driven one of them? Yeah, a few. Oh, oh well, then you know mm. it's a luxury liner. My word. It was love at first sight. She doesn't get much more heart stirring than that, does <laughs> right. it? There? That's right, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I spend a lot of time out here. The RT Charger's the real deal. An E49. Remember A Charger? I've always got projects on the go, so Shannon's laid up cover helps protect my restorations. I'm Mopar through and through. It's a passion Shannon's understands. I wouldn't insure my cars and bikes with anyone else. Shannon's, insurance for motoring enthusiasts. Call 13 46 46 for a quote. Penrite, Australian made, family owned and operated. Make premium quality engine and racing oils, warranty approved coolants, automatic transmission and manual gear oils, a complete range of engine and fuel additives, heavy duty and industrial products for every application. Visit penriteoil.com for more information. Penrite, Australian made for Australian conditions since 1926. If you have a restoration project, Hair and Forbes has the tools that you need. Look at these restoration products. Shrinker stretchers, dollies, mallets, bead rollers, profile gauges, professional panel restoration kits, and so much more. Now I warn you, enter at your own risk because you will end up buying something. So come along to your Cap City store or browse and buy online at machineryhouse.com.au because Heron Forbes has the range. My first memory of a, of a car is when I was very little, and I can't remember how old, but I've always been fascinated by cars. I still am. This is my world, and my family's around me, and they enjoy it. We have a lot of wonderful people visit here, and uh, it just couldn't, it doesn't get any better. That's a difficult question. One of my favorite things, 
It's strange because every little piece, every everything I've got is so precious in one way or another. I I'm often ask uh, questions like that. It's like your favorite car and I say, well, it's like having a flock of kids and one of them might be ugly, but you still love it just as much as uh, it, them as much as the rest of them. So cars have meant uh, the world to me outside of my family and my friends and but uh, I, I'm so fascinated and that's why I have such a, I guess, eclectic collection because there's something special and wonderful about every one that I've owned. I guess that's what keeps pushing me all the time. Um, I, just, uh, I just can't get enough of it. And uh, they say that you should have a hobby that's not like your business, but because of my being in the garage business all of those years. When I got out of the service and the only thing I knew much about was working in a gas station all the years going through high school and working on cars and my love for cars and so I went into business in 1945. Uh, when I first went into business uh, a lot of the cars were 30s cars uh, Chevys and Fords and Plymouths and so I had developed a love for the fascination for all vehicles just because of their uniqueness. Over the years it never changed up until about the time I got out of the business in 88 and by that time the cars were beginning to look alike and it wasn't as exciting and it was always challenging. There was at no time in all of those years in the business that it wasn't very challenging. And a lot of people doing their own work, or I would even go to other garage and pick up cars. The engines were seized, and I'd find a way to free them up. And, uh, but I loved what I was doing. I guess that's the bottom line. If you love what you're doing, uh, it, it, makes it, uh, it makes life so exciting. Everything about the hobby is fun. It's fun to buy them, it's fun to share them with people, and it's fun to, uh, to uh, drive everything about them. Uh, it's not like a boat. When you get rid of a boat, well, they say that's a happy day when you buy it, and a happy day when you get rid of it, but cars are not like that. You fall in love and it's forever, and even though you don't have them anymore, well, Still have a lot of wonderful memories. I, I I love the cars and I love all the people that I've met. It's been a wonderful life, and uh, I've always said happiness is a full tank of gas. Okay, was you having fun? I'm having a lot of fun. Yeah, you yeah. like you like working with Fletch. I like working with you. Yeah, you're a great guy. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's nice, isn't it? Isn't that what you told me to, to <laughs> say? Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, you got to love this guy. Now, we've walked up the paddock, up to the back of the yard here, and uh, gone past a few cars in the, in the process, but we've got a beautiful 1954 Lincoln. Now, again, this is an original car. Right. Untouched, unrestored. It, it, it's just unbelievable. There's uh, some uh, crow's feet in the passenger door and the paint there. Uh, like I said, untouched. What's the deal with this one? Well, this was part of a man's, well, a Lincoln dealer here in Grand Rapids. It was part of his uh, personal collection. He had 100 cars and he had them stored in uh, warehouses and it was damp in there. And he said, uh, I can't remember how he said it now, but something about his chemical factory, how to turn good metal into rust. Uh, and that gas tanks would fall off, the straps would rust, and it's quite a story. But uh, he sold 100 cars at that auction. Wow. Is that what he wanted to do? He wanted the thing no, to he collapse? he didn't want to do that, no, no. But he realized that uh, he wasn't preserving them, and uh, it wasn't, became a nightmare for him. Right. These uh, these higher end cars, they they never a lot of them never really did a lot of miles. I mean, to think that this is a 1954 car, right. the condition is amazing. 
It is amazing. And a lot of the higher end cars, um, they were quality cars. The more affluent people bought them, and uh, therefore they had good care. They were serviced regular. The thing too, the original owners, uh, well, they're, they're long gone, aren't they? Right. Uh, it's interesting too because a lot of times when you buy an old convertible, they'll be all ratted out because people. But then on the other hand, when you find one that's been well cared for, they're very well cared for. Yeah. So, As a part of the exuberance and the sophistication of this car, some of its features are outstanding. A cigarette lighter in the center of the back seat We've got power windows operated from, obviously, the driver's side door and, of course, electric seats. Not bad when you consider the year 1954. Now stick around because after the break we're back as Wes opens more doors as we find more treasure here uh, at Wes's incredible establishment. Don't go changing. There is nothing quite like a Fletch Tour. Carlisle or Ford Nationals, GM Nationals and Chrysler Nationals await you. On a Fletch Tour, you don't have to worry about a thing. I can't believe how good it's been. Experience Route 66. We're definitely coming back to do Route 66. Or choose the Detroit Tour, attending the Woodward Dream Cruise. On a Fletch Tour, every day just gets better and better. You've got to do something in your life, you've got to do a Fletch Tour. There are five Fletch Tours. See FletchTours.com or contact all things travel Lara every weekend around Australia motoring enthusiasts get together to share their passion for cars and bikes it's a passion that brings us together all sorts of people all sorts of cars and bikes from the classics of today to the classics of tomorrow at Shannon's we understand enthusiasts so when it comes to insurance it's got to be Shannon's Shannon's, insurance for motoring enthusiasts. Call 13 46 46 for a quote. Heron Forbes Machinery House has been family owned and operated for over 85 years and it's easy to see why. And with a range like this, you cannot go wrong. Planning on welding? Look at these welding tables and clamps. Air compressors and different air tools. Sandblasting cabinets through to spray guns. Everyone is welcome at Machinery House and they're also open Saturday mornings. Their range of machine tools are workshop tested. There are competitive freight rates around Australia and you can buy online at machinerywhouse.com.au. So remember, Hare and Forbes has the range. In 1926, Australia's Penrite Oil Company was established. Almost 90 years of research, development and refining under the harsh Australian conditions has made Penrite Oil what it is today. Precision, performance, reliability and protection. Championship winning products. Trust Penrite. Moving on through as we do at Wes's Place. Now Wes... You're a bit of a Ford man. I mean, I know you appreciate all different types of cars, but you you like your Fords, you like your V8s. You're a bit of a rev head from way back, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Well, I used to race. Right. What did you used to race? Uh, jalopies. Right. <laughs> well, they, you got different names for them, but yeah. the ones that I raced were jalopies, dirt track. Did you do okay? I did pretty good. Yeah. I won the first races at a track up north of town here, uh, and uh, but of course we weren't going very fast the cars didn't go like they do today but i had a lot of fun we had a lot of fun that's good eh isn't that good appreciating the uh, the jalopy the device that you had at the time and and you made the most of what you had now this 57 ford uh what's the deal here with this well i always had the hots for one of these and uh, i looked for years and I bought this at a hot rod show down in Kalamazoo. What takes you with this model? What, what is it about this Here's shape this, that, that I, you like? This, I like 57 Fords. And I had the Sunliner convertible, and I had uh, the T-Bird. Yeah. And uh, this kind of completed the... Uh, they were all very high-end cars back in the day, Wes. I think they were, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they were. 
Yeah. I mean, they uh, oozed style. They uh, had lots of charm. They were. They, had, they were. They were good, mm. reliable cars, bulletproof. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They were exceptionally good cars. Yeah. Trouble free. Yeah. Uh, do you know the history of this? Uh, this well, we call them a Ute. I mean, I know you guys call them pickups here, but. Uh, yeah. Uh, what's the history there? It looks like it's been delivering cotton wool because it hasn't been knocked around too much. Well, it hasn't. Uh, it was it was sold new in Colorado, and that's about all I know. A guy bought it to Michigan. He was a teacher in uh, Kalamazoo, and uh, the reason he sold it is because he didn't have garage space and he didn't want to sit outside. But I think in the meantime, he drove it two or three winters. So. Yeah. They're all the people we've got to try and get to know, aren't they? The people that, you know, want to get rid of their car because they don't have garage space. They're the ones we need to know, isn't, aren't they, Wes? It's, a, it's always a problem, and uh, that stops a lot of people from buying cars because they don't have a place to put it. And it it's a problem. What powers this up front? Uh, don't say a Ford V8. <laughs> it's got the Thunderbird engine in it. Oh, that's crafty. That's that's a good line. That That is. It's, it's, a, nice, it's a nice engine. Yeah. I mean, I like the archaicness of the 57 Ford, too. I mean, they've still got the big wheel and you, the, the column is exposed and um, there's a lot of old school styling still incorporated in this 57 Ford, isn't there? That and, and it's, it's simple. It's, it's, uh, it's a pleasure, mm. a real pleasure to drive this. Yeah. Now, Wes, we've got time for one more car. What oh. are you, well, yeah, what are you, what are you suggesting? You'll have to tell me because you look at everything differently than oh. I do. All right, okay. Come okay. with me. Come with me. Come with me, Wes. All right. Come on. Yeah. Whoop, you're right there? Yeah, I'm yeah. okay. Yeah, he's okay. Yeah, he's all right. What a beautiful car. This is stunning. 1964 Buick LaSaba. Wes, how long have you had this? Oh, gosh. 25 years, more. Yeah. Hard to remember. Yeah, you haven't had your cars long, have you? Not long. <laughs> <laughs> now, you've got some uh, mechanical history. You go way back when you had your garage. Tell us quickly about that. When uh, when this lady customer of mine bought this car brand new, uh, I serviced it from the back then. The dealers didn't get people to come back to their dealership like they do today. And uh, so I serviced it from, the, from day one. And uh, then when I told her if... If she ever decides to part with this, that I'd I'd like to buy it. So, give you the That's first happened. give you the first right of refusal. Right. right. Yeah. Yep. Well, and here you are. I mean, what a stunning car with uh, white on the outside, the inside, the interior, the green. That's just amazing. Uh, I kid you not. It is like the day that it rolled out of the dealership, right? It really is. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. How it's held up. Because you have to deal with mice and all of, and you know and everything you you. And it doesn't take those little suckers long to destroy the interior of a car. And up front we've got the uh, Wildcat 355. What a beautiful uh, engine. I mean, Buick, they've always built a fantastic car. Uh, and that goes with their, their engines and drive lines as well. They've always built great cars. Mm. These tyres, they've been on the car since 1966. Yep. And they still, they, they still look like brand new. They... Either use better products than or components or whatever than uh, they do today because now they suggest you replace your tires seven or eight years. Yeah. Well, it kind of blows that theory out of the water a little bit, Wes, doesn't it? A little bit. But mind you, they would be rock hard. <laughs> but look, the thing is, they're still on the car, period correct to the vehicle, and you don't see that very often. I'm sure that the uh, original owner would be really tickled pink and proud to think that the car is still in such fantastic condition. It's in great, it's in great hands. Yeah. And uh, on that note, Wes, that wraps up today. And I just want to thank you so much for your hospitality and allowing us uh, back here and uh, devoting this episode of Classic Restos to yourself. Thanks, Fletch. It's been a lot of fun. I mean, it's been a really great day appreciate you coming back and i didn't think you'd have enough to keep you busy here but uh it's been a lot of fun absolutely well, listen you take care of yourself on behalf of all you the too. people watching classic restos i know they're going to be thank thinking you. the same thing thank you very much all right Take care, Wes. Thanks to Shannons, we return to the United States of America to bring you these special, exclusive episodes. And that wraps up 
this week's episode of Classic Restos. What did you think of Wes? Isn't he an incredible guy here at Wes's place? It's been an absolute privilege to have Wes on Classic Restos. And on that note, no matter where you're watching the show from, until next week, please ride and drive safe. I'm Fletch, and I thank you very much for watching. You can like and follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash classic restos TV and watch catch up episodes at shannons.com.au. Classic Restos, proudly brought to you by Shannons, where you can be part of the Shannons Club. Penrite Oil, Hare and Forbes Machinery House, Pace Farm, and Duncan Foster Engineering.